Hey guys, Blazin here. Welcome to my analysis on the M90. The M90 is a pump-action shotgun in service with the UNSC and made by Misrae Armory. The M90 is most prominently used by the UNSC Marine Corps. It's chambered in the extremely powerful 8-gauge magnum-shelled ammunition and feeding from a 12-round tubular non-detachable magazine. The extended magazine is included to aid the weapon's effectiveness in boarding actions. The M90 was a common close-range weapon throughout the Human Covenant War. It played a notable part in the Battle of Installation 04, being used by UNSC Marines against the Covenant and Flood. And M90 was also present during the ensuing skirmish over Threshold. Moving on to features, the magazine of the weapon is prominently positioned above the barrel with the weapon's glowing iron sights mounted on top, and the receiver located just behind it. There's also a flashlight integrated into the weapon's foregrip, which also features a prominent orange button. The M90 holds 12 shells in the tubular magazine, plus 60 extra spare shells. The fire rate I got was around 65 rounds per minute. The reload speed I got was around 4.15 seconds. The tactical reload speed varies just due to the fact that you can cancel the reload at any time. The max effective range is 22 meters. When it comes to the damage output, I went about it a different way. Since we all know this is a shotgun and it kills in one shot at a certain distance, I went ahead and found the most consistent one shot kill range and then the potentially consistent shield break range. So let's go over those. So at around 11 meters is the cutoff range to at least break an opponent's shields. And at around 4 meters is the most consistent one-shot kill range I got. And that's it for the Halo CE shotgun. Overall, this thing dominates in the campaign. However, in multiplayer, again, I'll always say this, at least on the Master Chief Collection, it is a little inconsistent. This might be one of the guns that are definitely that like stand out as maybe it's more consistent on the original Xbox, but on MCC, it is a little inconsistent. So again, I'm not sure if that's how it performs in the original Xbox or it's Master Chief Collection's doing. 
I always want to point that out as much as possible because I am aware that, you know, MCC and, X and the original Xbox on this game isn't... It's pretty close. I'm not saying it's, like, terrible. It used to be a lot worse when the game came out. But at least in my opinion, the hit registration feels very close to the original Xbox. The three or four guns that stand out to me of being, like, potentially inconsistent are maybe the pistol. The shotgun, I think, is the most prominent. The plasma rifle, though the plasma rifle feels pretty close. And the sniper rifle, actually the sniper rifle might have the opposite effect on MCC. The sniper rifle might be too good. Because I do remember on the original Xbox, it was a little harder. So I actually wonder if the MCC in the sniper's case really does showcase the true power of the CE sniper. And maybe hardware limitations on the, on the original Xbox was limiting the CE sniper's power. But that's gonna do it for now. I'm gonna take a little break from making these. Uh, we're not done yet though. I still need to go over the overshield, active camouflage, and the fuel rod gun and flamethrower. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, share the video around, subscribe for more, leave a comment on what you think of the CE shotgun, and until next time, peace.